This is Neil Schneider, MTBS TV at CES 2010. I'm joined by Don Messa, Senior Product Marketing Manager for Sony. Welcome to the program, Don. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Now, Don, I got to tell you, I'm looking around, I'm seeing PlayStation, I'm seeing 3D, stereoscopic 3D video games. Is, in, is Sony indeed jumping in, onto the 3D bandwagon? Are you going to lead the way? What, what are Sony's plans for stereoscopic 3D gaming? Well, we haven't made any uh, firm announcements yet, uh, but as you can see at, uh, at CES here, uh, we're definitely showing a lot of our prototypes and that we are uh, very happy to uh, be on the bandwagon with uh, through all the 3D uh, excitement. Excellent. Now, last night I had the I had the opportunity to, to go to the Sony press event, and you know, the closest thing I, I'd say we came to an announcement is that Sony was indeed planning to do uh, uh, PlayStation 3D games, like they were planning some type of firmware upgrade. Um, if, if, now, what would you estimate Sony's schedule is not so much for PlayStation 3, but for the televisions themselves? When are we going to start seeing Sony TVs in the you know in in, in stores at retail? The, uh, the plan for Sony TVs to be going out will be in the summertime, and at that same time, all of our PS3 hardware, all of our systems will be 3D compatible uh, because it will be supporting the HDMI 1.4 firmware. Excellent. So the televisions themselves are going to be 1.4. PlayStation itself, I mean, when I think of PlayStation, it's got an HDMI connector. Right. It, it, is it a 1.3 connector? Like what, you know, what, how would you describe the HDMI connector on a, on a PlayStation 3 currently? Well, the great part about the PS3 is that it is very much an upgradable uh, piece. It's uh, you know, it's almost like uh, it has its own life. So we're able to work with the firmware where we can get the 1.4 capability in with the HDMI, so that we can be 3D capable. Excellent. So what's going to happen is, I take it you're going to update the software on the PlayStation, so it will right, eventually a simple firmware upgrade. Uh, update. To, uh, all you have to do is just do a simple firmware up update, which is a HDMI 1.4, and you're automatically having 3D um, accessibility. Excellent. So what, what's the response been so far? I mean, one of the challenges with 3D, and uh, you know, I'll be straight with you. A lot of people when they hear 3D, they say oh, it's a gimmick, it's uncomfortable. You know, there's you know, there's a, like a laundry list of problems that they talk about. About. But you're here on the show floor. You're showing you're showing a wide range of, of 3D HDTVs. What reaction are you getting on the show floor? Well, I think there's a lot of excitement. Not just about excitement, but you know the fact is, this is very immersive. The idea that you can really get yourself into that whole experience, especially think of like baseball. We have uh, MLB on our 3D uh, screens. It's actually on our OLED screens. When you look at that and you're watching how uh, how the pitch gets thrown, typically if you look at it 3D, imagine if you're like closing one eye and you see a ball coming at you. That's kind of the sense you get. But in this sense, you feel like you're actually in there. You see the ball coming at you. You really want to swing that bat. So you, there's more of an instant reaction because you feel it's a much more natural experience that you're experiencing. So it, would you say that in gaming, I mean, it, what I'm hearing is immersion, immersion, immersion. That's one of the core benefits of, of stereoscopic 3D. Do you think that uh, gaming is going to be very, excuse me, stereoscopic 3D gaming is going to be very natural for gamers, or do you think it's going to go against the grain of, 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 of gaming? Well, in a way, I think we were kind of, you know, we were kind of limited by the fact that we were in this uh, 2D realm. When you think, you know, all of our games are built in 3D CG, you know, you know, 3D CG graphics, if you think about it. So all of our characters are literally in 3D, but we were in a 2D world for a long time with 3D uh, accessibility, with the 3D TVs, with that whole, uh, the whole world now coming to life. You can finally see all of our things really pop to life. It really, there's a lot of this uh, depth of field experience that you get that makes you really get that sensibility of like whether the explosion is coming at you or when you're driving a car, you're taking that break and you're really getting that accurate you know, angle to really make that turn. All that uh, part becomes that much more real to you. Excellent. Now, the, you know, Sony's really stepping to the plate by putting these televisions out, eventually putting a firmware update out for, for the Sony PlayStation. However, you know, there's an expression that there are, our industry's been saying for years, content is king, content is king. What has the response been by the game developers to, to stereoscopic 3D technologies like this? Well, I think they love. They always love the challenge, right? I mean, because their whole part is about technology. Everything about games is about technology. So uh, the fact that they get this great challenge to understand how they can make the game that much more immersive, to really create that depth and that perception of reality, come you know, come to life even more. They're very much investigating a lot more. If anything, we've only scratched the surface of 3D, and now we finally have the opportunity to really go deep and really show what 3D can really do from a from a game's perspective. Now. 
Sony's been involved in a lot of markets, and and you know you've got you've got a, a very long history. Do you think stereoscopic 3D gaming or stereoscopic 3D content, for that matter, has to be handled differently than any of the other products that you've handled? Is it is it a different type of challenge compared to the other things you've done in the past? Not so much, really, because you're really looking at you know, a screen where you have objects that are in the front area, if you think of it, from, uh, from a viewing perspective, and objects that are in the back. But really, you're, what you're looking at is like almost practically like two screens happening at once. So it's a matter of just making sure that our programmers are just working just a little bit to make certain tweaks so that certain elements pop up more in the front, other elements are in the back, which creates that uh, depth perception as well as that immersion feel. So it, it's really, right now, it's a very simple uh, procedure to get through, but uh, I'm sure we could do so much more. And with this firmware update, I take it uh, Blu-ray will be possible as well on PlayStation? Is, is there, what's, what's, what's PlayStation's position on Blu-ray in the home? Well, as it is, right, Blu-ray is already built into the PS3. But what makes it really great is that we could put so much more content in there. I mean, that's that's really what it is about Blu-ray, as well as the, the high-definition aspect. When you're looking at 3D, you really want that high resolution, and, and that's what Blu-ray Blu -ray brings to the table. So when you think of uh, the fact that you have this great immersion with 3D, and then you have this high resolution with uh, with Blu-ray, that's a, it's a great combination to put together. Okay, so um, in terms of the upgrade itself, what I'm gathering is it's an HDMI 1.4 update. That's a general across. Uh, that's generally really across uh, all the TVs, and that's where for PS3 systems it will be uh, basically uh, it create, makes it 3D compatible on the TVs. Excellent. And now there's a lot of units on the floor that are based on HDMI 1.3. Um, it, will will there be 3D compatibility for 1.3 HDMI as well, or strictly 1 1.4? Well, we're uh, since we're joining in with the HDMI 1.4, we would only uh, start from 1.4. Okay, excellent. And I take it all the Bravia 3D HDTVs are going to be 1.4 compliant. Absolutely. Excellent, excellent. Well, thank you so much for joining us. I'm very happy by what I, what I'm seeing here. I really I want to see more and more and more. And uh, th thank you so much for joining us. Uh, thanks for having me, and uh, stay tuned for more. Excellent. This is Neil Schneider, MTVS TV at the Sony booth, CES 2010. We'll be back.